Hello, my name is Stephen Stone. I've written for Vintage Guitar Magazine for many years about acoustic instruments, and I'm going to walk you through some of the differences between a fern and a lore mandolin. Let's first look at the headstocks and look at the differences between them. On the right, we have the lore. On the left, we have a fern. The first thing you'll notice, the very tippy top, single ply, triple ply. So the fern has the triple ply. Next thing, let's look at the V Gibson. Look at the differences. The fern, V is much closer to the edge. Also look at the type itself. It's tighter. It's a little more elegant. Then we can look at the inlays. Here we have a flower pot. Here we have a fern. Hence the difference, hence the name fern. One other thing to notice, see how the inlay of the fern goes in under the tuners. This the term for that is a suicide fern. Now let's look at the back of the two instruments. On the right is the lore. On the left is the fern. First thing you'll notice is the differences in color in the tuners themselves. The lore is silver. The fern is, well, I guess it's gold. It's sort of a brassy gold. Next thing you'll notice is the difference of where the tuner shaft is in relation to the circular part of the tuner. Here it's above the shaft. Here it's below the shaft. The above the shaft is usually the preferred way to go, but when the fern was built, they had run out of those tuners, which also accounts for the fact that the inlay goes straight through the in the the tuners go straight through the inlay. That was caused, I'm gonna flip this over again. That was caused by the fact that the spacing for the holes and the, the inlay originally installed on this was designed for these tuners, but they weren't in stock. Gibson wanted to finish building the instruments, so they used what they had. And there are several of these out in the world. I've seen another one with a, a sequential serial number that also is a suicide fern. Now let's look at the tops. We have the lure and we have the fern. First, let's look at the similarities. They both have sunbursts of similar tonality and similar fade off. And probably when the lure was new, it probably was as dark as the fern. One of the major differences here is this is varnish, while this is lacquer. Lacquer's thicker when it goes on than varnish. But after 80 odd years, the differences are probably vastly reduced. Initially though, this is a much thinner finish and tends to let the wood do what the wood wants to do in a more unencumbered way than a lacquer finish would. Again, differences in the, in the hardware, silver versus gold. Very similar pick guards. One difference here is in the hardware. This hardware is obviously original. This hardware, you know, it may be original, but by that time they had gotten a little less fancy. So those are some of the differences between the lore and a fern.